How you guys doing? And yes, it's me. I know you're about tired of seeing my face, but I'm here again with some new and some different. Welcome to Cooking with MS. Cooking what? I had a slice idea what I'm going to cook. Well, I know what I'm going to cook. If you look at the ingredients, uh, it basically should be known uh, you should kind of guess what I am cooking. Should be able to guess, but for you guys that don't know what that might be, uh, it's um, meatloaf. What type of meatloaf? <sighs> don't ask me. I am experimenting, and as you can tell by, uh, I do have lab rats. Don't tell them I told you that. That I use them as guinea pigs. I'm over here looking this way like my camera over there, but um <laughs> Yeah, I use them as guinea pigs, so don't tell nobody, okay? So but anyway, right? Um Yeah. Let's get started. I got brain farts and whatnot, but we do want to preheat the oven at 350 and we're going to try and cook this for at least about an hour. We're going to check it, right? Um, again, this is a signature meatloaf. We will call it something when we get done. Right now, we have no name for it. Um, it's also going to be a brandy light special signature sauce that I am making with this. Um, so... Um, some of you guys might not like this part, um, because you don't like to get your hands all dirty and stuff, but, <clears throat> you know, sometimes you gotta, <laughs> you gotta put your hands in the meat, <laughs> you know, you gotta touch the meat sometimes, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, you gotta touch the meat sometimes, all right, so basically, uh, we're gonna do, um, this right here is, uh, two, Two point, two point quarter of a uh, of a um, meatloaf, right? And uh, so anyway, <clears throat> we gonna get the meatloaf. I mean, I'm meatloaf meat. Put the meat in the bowl, okay? Throw this away. All right. Yeah, you're gonna appear here, appear, and you're gonna play with the meat a little bit. Get all crunched up, you know, get your hands all in the meat and stuff, and you know, all this stuff right here, right? Alright, so. Oh man, in the ingredients, I didn't put eggs. How are you gonna make meatloaf without eggs? So, you're gonna see me step away from the camera a little bit and go get some eggs. Uh, we're probably gonna use about with this and what I'm putting in it um uh, so I can make sure it mix real good I might just go with four well let's go with four all right so I got this hand all messed up I'm not gonna do with this hand anymore but um if you didn't see it on the ingredients thing is um Tony the uh more spice I love this right so uh, I guess we can leave this part open, not open this because it's not that big. And going, I can't tell you how much to use. You have to do that yourself. I'm sorry. I I'm I just don't cook like that. I I ain't no uh, teaspoon. Okay, maybe sometimes it just depends. Okay, then I also use Tony um, spices and herbs. Right? Oh, this is awesome too. This is good with vegetables and stuff. So put that in there. In there. Uh, how healthy is this? You say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Again, is it going to taste good? I don't know. I don't know. I just like trying stuff, right? And if you guys didn't catch me and my me mom, my mom, um, on um, on a little post that I did about those uh, Cheetos, right? I love hot stuff. So, crushed red peppers. <laughs> they ain't gonna know it. They ain't, they ain't gonna be hot. I would be using black pepper too. Shh. It ain't gonna be hot. Jeez. Gosh. Okay. So that's done, right? All right. And this other ingredient here, I, I've, for some reason, I've grown fond of it. And um, it's so pretty and green. Parsley flakes. It's so pretty. Sometimes I put it in the rice. You know, when I'm trying to be all fancy, make that get a little color in the rice. Put a little bit more parsley up in there. Okay. That's that. And my uh Mima has some um some corn flake chips over here in the corner. Um so yeah. What the hell? Put put that in there. And I don't know if you guys make hamburgers like this, but this is actually pretty good to do when you're making um meatloaf hamburger type meatball type thing. Some uh, f uh cornmeal. Put cornmeal in there. Okay. Alright. Uh, I know you see a lot in here, but um, I'm not gonna put all of it in there. Um, I think that's it because this ain't gonna be that big, not right now, anyway. And next time I do this, which there will be a next time, I'm gonna flip my camera over that other way so that, that you guys can see me a little bit better. Um, but, uh, yeah, hold on for just a second while I go get these eggs. Sixty eggs. Oh, my. oh heck no. We fin that Oh when I get finished making this, I'm finna go talk to somebody cause somebody done cook. that many eggs to where 60 eggs should be down like that oh I got somebody I'm gonna fight in the house but anyway uh okay mm. one egg two egg oh. three egg Four egg and that be it. Now I get to go back and do the fun part. It, oh, it, another thing when you're doing meatballs and uh, stuff with ground beef and turkey or whatever, let this stuff sit out and don't let it be all. Cold and stuff, your hands get cold when you play with your meat, right? You don't want your hands cold when you play with your meat. Cause it hurts and stuff. 
So I'm finna commence and playing with my meat, right? <clears throat> yeah, look at that. It looks so pretty, don't it? It's just so uh, like guts. That sound, yeah. That's the nasty part. That sound don't sound good. Alright. Hey, with the meat. I feel that I might need to add a little seasoned salt. I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I get finished playing with this meat here. Best, best seasoned salt in the world. Season all. The meat. Ah. Yeah. Rawr. And uh, I hope everybody's day's been going well. Night, evening, whatever time it may be that you are watching this lovely episode of Cooking with MS. And oh my god, I forgot to introduce myself. For those who don't know, my name is Laron. Laron. Ron, however you want to say it. Um, senior. Cause there is a junior out there, um, so we got that all good and and mixed and stuff. And so I'm trying to figure out. Ooh, do I want to put a little fall down or what? Not sure. Oh, it's been 11 minutes already. All right, so we got that mixed up, right? Now here's the. Here's going to be the weird part. Okay? This is the weird part. Making up the meatloaf. Alright? Normally we put the meatloaf in a pan, you know, like roll it up and make it to a little farm loaf like thing. This is going to be different. This meatloaf is going to be stuffed. Stuffed meatloaf, yes. How are we going to stuff it? Just wait and see. Uh, give me one second. Let me wash my hands here of the meatloaf. I got stuff everywhere. In the stove on, so I can't just put it on the stove. Right there. Are you looking at my... um? Okay, the cheese blocking me. All right. Don't be, don't be looking at my tushy back there, guys. Oh, seriously. Ah! Water hot. Hot. Hot water. Hot. Oh, right. uh, probably. Um. Uh, Play, huh? Okay. How about that? Since you want to be all difficult and roll up on folks, knock you out. Try me like that again. Wrong this. Woo! I often say some words that shouldn't be said. Meat low. Put that right there. Mm. And I guess, I may not, not guess, 
I bet y'all are like, what is he gonna do with this meatloaf? <sighs> I am gonna roll my meat now. I'm gonna commence on playing with my meat some more. I need to roll the meat up. Do you, hey, do you think if I spray this with some grease that it won't? I need to get it flat as I can get it. Flat as it can be. You know what the funny thing is gonna be with this? If this stuff is nasty, I am gonna laugh. Oh, I can't go that way no more. Spread not right. Maybe that's why I won't pushing it hard oh, enough. I'm just playing with it. That's what happened? You gotta know how to play with your meat, man. You can't just be playing playing with the meat any type of way. You gotta know what you're doing. Be doing something good because I'm about to start sweat. Should be a workout playing with your meat. I know one thing, this ain't this ain't squaring out right. I supposed to been squaring this out. Or at least rectangling it. Ah, oh, whatever, we're gonna work with that. Alright, so. As you can see, we got this flat knot as good as we can. Put up these ingredients here. Yeah. Mm. So I don't have to worry about doing it. It is also good to clean up behind yourself. Ah, you know, when you get your stuff, clean up behind yourself. Mm. Uh, okay, so. Got the meat rolled out. Now here are the last two ingredients. Cheese. We're gonna lay that cheese down here. We're gonna lay this cheese on here. Nice and good. Lay the cheese on there nice and good, right? The cheese down there. And you know what guys, I thank you so much. Thank you for watching and tuning in to Cooking with MS. And, you know, sometimes I just feel that, um, you know, with the spots that my lesions are in, you know, and they say the lesions sit in a, um, um, the Mayan, Mayan, or whatever, the, the coating on the, um, the coating on your nerves, right? They eat it off, like, you know, like mice do with, ca um, um, wires and stuff, right? And you know, we don't use but what? What did it say? We use but 10% of our brain. And so I feel that maybe look at it like this. We just might be tapping into other percent. And we you know we still might be doing 10%, but we're tapping into other percentages portions of other portions of the brain because it can't it can't go anywhere else where can it go if it can't go in the direction that it was supposed to be going previous us getting sick right so i feel that is a positive way to look at what's going on is that you know we kind of like we're um we're evolving and stuff, you know? We are superior. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, what is this dude talking about? It's gotta be the meat, the fumes from the meat. Alright, now the secret ingredient 
for this meatloaf is going to be. I don't know if anybody like this, but it's spinach. Spinach. All right, so we are going to. Huh? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Sorry. <sighs> Let's see. All right. Back to the, I had a phone call. Okay. So we go back to the spinach. And I'm pretty sure everybody, if they haven't tried this before, they're going to be like, oh my God, what the heck is he doing? He's messing up the meatloaf. He's messing up the meatloaf. I probably am. So you know you spread that. I gotta get that spread real good there. It's almost like painting a a wonderful picture. You know, get that get that spread a little bit there, you know. The cheese is not accepting the spinach like it should, but we just wanna spread it still. Okay, so we can get it everywhere. You know, we don't want it just all bunched up in the middle like that. You know, you know just some water, you know, you get that spread. Okay, all right. I think this is as much as it's gonna allow me to spread it there. Oh, no, 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 it's actually a lot. It's a lot there in the middle. Okay, mm, all right. Okay, so now the trick is, is rolling the loaf. And that's why I put it on this parchment paper. I'm hoping that I can roll it, and I think I should roll it this way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, me go. Let me do this so that I can cut and close it. I don't think it rolled, but we just gonna say it did. It's almost like doing a cinnamon roll. You know? That's exactly what we're doing. Rolling a meatloaf cinnamon roll. That's exactly what we're doing. Rolling a meatloaf cinnamon roll. Tuck those in. They're gonna be so surprised. They're gonna think it's a regular meatloaf. Y'all been not seen nothing. I'm trying to hurry up so that they won't know, right? They're trying to come a loose, ain't it? Okay. Drum burn. Okay, I'm going to use that. Use this. All right. Meatloaf is breaking up. Oh no, no meatloaf, no, no. I draw, Sean. I draw, Sean. Hurry up here. Meatloaf. My 
Meatloaf. Meatloaf. No, Meatloaf. No. Oh. I'm feeling like this Meatloaf. We got it on there. Spin this out. I wanted that right. All right. So now they had the slightest idea what's in the meatloaf. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna put the sauce on just yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and cook this like this. All right. Like I said, woo, sweating. We're gonna cook this about mm, 45 minutes before we put the sauce on. Okay. And I'm gonna come back with that. Oh, okay. Look at this meatloaf, right? It don't look pretty. Hmm. I'm not even gonna say what it kind of look like. Um, let your imagination run with that one. All right, so the sauce, you know, everybody knows that you normally use ketchup on meatloaf, right? So we're gonna use ketchup. Um, all right, just a little bit. Not that much. Like I said, this is a different meatloaf. All right. We're gonna use some uh, uh, some branding. Mmm, it's cheap brandy. It's a dollar. So I guess you know people might have a little of uh, expensive tongue. So you know, making the sauce here, making the sauce. You're gonna put a little bit of brandy in there. I'm gonna take a little bit. Ah. And this here, Carolina mustard style Heinz ketchup. Not, uh, not ketchup, I mean barbecue sauce, right? This stuff is good. This, this right here is like the best Carolina sauce that I've tasted. Let's get that in there real good. It's got that brandy it's gonna liquefy it a little bit. So stir that up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it. Up. Stir it. Up. Stir it up. And then we taste it. Taste it again. I don't think it got enough alcohol in it, to be honest with you. No, not alcoholic, but I gotta say something for my egg nut. Alright, so. Now we finna drench this baby. Yeah. Sink. This is so pretty. Yeah, this is so pretty. Ooh, it's gonna be a pretty. Oh look, it's like an orange, like a MS orange. I didn't pay attention to that. Wow, look. Oh, isn't that ironic? Oh, all right.
All right. No, so we put this back in there for maybe like 15 more minutes just to see how it's going to go. Make sure it cooks all the way through. And I will be back after it's done. Because I got to taste it. You know, oh, I actually got to show you my plate, my the food, right? Yeah, I got to show you food. The, the, the decorated plate of mine with the, um, uh, I cooked some, um, I made some, ah, well, what the heck, I'll wait until you when we get finished. All right. Okay, guys, look. Is I don't think it. I don't think it look bad. You think it? You think it look bad? I think it's cute. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of skeptical about this fork here. I don't know if you saw that, but hmm. all right, I'm going to taste it first before I make other people taste it. Oh, any type of rice. Uh, just if you would like rice, you know, potatoes. Uh, oh, that little gravy that I made, I'm going to put a little bit on my rice because I like the sauce. It's pretty good. Uh, All right. Okay, here we go. Try to make sure I get some spinach. I don't know about them, but they're good to me. Oh my god! Oh, well, I guess now it's time to uh, see what the uh, others thinks. Let's go see. Uh -uh. It's bright. Unfortunately, my Mima. Yeah, don't put me on the camera. Don't put me on the camera. But she's going to taste it. And y'all get to hear her taste it. So she's tasting it now. She's she tasting my corn. What it tastes like, Mimo? It's good. Okay, she tastes the rice with the sauce on it. Ain't no sauce now, so now she finna taste the stuffed meat, low. It's the biggest part. Hmm. Hmm. Not for eat with my food. That's good. Very good. good. All right, and so it tastes good. It tastes good to me, and so that's it. Um, I like to have a plate of that. I bet you. I bet you would like to have a plate of that. But that's cooking with MS. Thank you very much. Bye.